I'm free. Praise the Lord, I'm free. No longer bound. No more chains holding me. My soul is resting. It's just a blessing. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah, I'm free. Said I'm free, praise the Lord, I'm free, no longer bound, no more chains holding me, my soul is resting, it's just a blessing, praise the Lord, hallelujah, I'm free. Jesus, thank you, Lord. Fall on me, fall on me. Let the power of the Holy Ghost fall on me, fall on me, fall on me. Let the power of the Holy Ghost. Fall on me, fall on me, fall on me. Let the power of the Holy Ghost fall on me. Hallelujah. Fall on me, fall on me. Let the power of the Holy Ghost fall on me. Amen. We thank God on today. Lord, we thank you for your goodness, your grace, and mercy on today. Lord, let this word be saturated and marinated in our hearts in Jesus' name. Let it allow us to push ourselves to prayer and fast and reading your word even more in Jesus' name. Lord, for we know that we're still on the wheel. In the mighty name of Jesus, do a work in and through us so we may go out to win souls and win them to the kingdom. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. God bless. God bless. People of God, God bless. Amen. Amen. Tell yourself today, God is still working on me. God is still working on me. 
And we're going right straight to Jeremiah chapter 18. Jeremiah chapter 18. And, and it reads, The Lord gave another message to Jeremiah. Another message to Jeremiah. Even as the Lord gave Jeremiah a message, God is going to give you a message. You see, there's some things that God wants to speak to you about. There's some things that God wants you to know. There's some people around your area and in your midst that God wants to speak to you about. So you can go and witness to them. Amen. So there's a message God wants to speak to you on today. Tell myself, God is going to speak to me today. God is going to speak to me today. Some folk can't hear God, but I hear God clearly when he speaks to me. He speaks in a whole lot of different ways. But on today, it could be driving to work. It could be going shopping, going to the market. But God is going to speak to me today. Tell somebody, God is going to speak to me today concerning something. Amen. But more importantly, amen. He's still working on us. God is still working on us. And when God gets done with you, you're going to be more than a conqueror. You're going to be more than a more than a conqueror. You're going to be more in Christ Jesus to go out and do exploits. Daniel, Daniel 11 and 32. The, um, the people that know that God shall do exploits. Amen. God is good. This, uh, and the Lord said, go down to the potter shop and I will speak to you there. There's some certain places that we have to be in place where God can literally speak to us. I know me a lot of times, God will speak like when I'm working. I'm out cutting grass. God will speak right on the lawnmower. The lawnmower is loud and God will still speak. Right in my place of riding on the lawnmower, God will surely speak. God will speak to you. Just be attentive and um, uh, sensitive and receive what God is saying to you today. I decree and declare today that God shall surely speak to you today. In the mighty name of Jesus. He wants to speak to you today. Amen. Uh, it says, uh, the, the potter's will. It says, so I did. So I did as he told me. I did as he told me. He was obedient to what God told him. Found the potter working at his will. Even the man that was doing the shaping was working. So God wants to see that. When it may not look like God is working. When, it, when I don't see that you're working, um, you know, we th I think you think about that song. You think about that song. When it don't look like God's working, just know that he's working. God is working it out for you. I don't care what it is. Bills jacked up. God is working it out on your behalf. Uh, you're, you're struggling in your prayer life, in your God life. God is working that thing out because he knows there's people around you that he wants to pull away from you. So you can be able to seek him more so he can get your attention. Amen. Just know that God is working it out. God is hand, God's hand is, is in position to shape you, to form you. God is always working on us. He's always shaping us. And we're going into a new season. This is the month of August, the, 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 the month of the new, the month of the do, as we talked about. So God is shifting us from spring and summer into a whole new time. God wants to change some things in our life because the old is not going to work for where he's taking you. I said the old is not going to work for where God is taking you in Jesus' name. Be ready. See, I want y'all to see God working. God said, don't just know that I'm working on you. I want you to see that I'm working on you. My hand has got you covered. Nobody can stop you. Nobody can come against you. Nobody can defeat you. You need to know that uh, um, trials and tribulations come. Nobody can defeat you and nobody can stop you. God has always, always had you covered. If we think about Job, when, uh, when, Job when, when Satan came to God and said, I'm going to try Job. And God said, all right, go ahead. God still had him covered. See, the enemy can only do but so much to you. He can only do but so much to you. And he'll try to bring depression and all of these things and make us feel like it's over. I'm trying to tell you. In the midnight hours when there's nobody to call, the enemy trying to make you think that you, you're going to fail, you're going to have anxiety, fear. He's trying to bring all these attacks. But God saying today, all while you're going through struggles in life, I've got you on the wheel because I'm preparing you for a place and I'm preparing you for a thing. I'm going to show you a demonstration. I'm going to show you a demonstration. I'm preparing you for a specific place. I'm preparing you for a place. Now watch this now. Watch this now. 
as God began to deal with you. Can I get this thing off? Okay, okay, okay. As God began to deal with you, he got you on a pot as well. It may not look all that great, all that beautiful, but just know there's something beautiful on the inside. Jesus. It may not look all gravy and grits, but on the inside, God is working. His hand is moving and working in and through me. He's working, and so we have to trust and believe God is always working. I, um, I'm trying to think of that song. Even when I don't see that you're working. Um, I'm trying to think of that song. Even when I saw what I remember. Even when I don't see that you're working. Uh, your mighty God. I'm trying, I'm trying to think of that song. But when it don't seem like God is working, you need to know, you need to know, Monroe, woman of God, that God is working on a pious wheel in the mighty name of Jesus. I mean, it could be crazy chaotic around you, but God is still working. You Sometimes we feel like God is nowhere around. I'm telling you. Sometimes we feel like God is nowhere around. And it always seems like the times when the struggle is the hardest. It's like God is nowhere around. But God, even I'm thinking about Joseph. Joseph was in the prison guard for 17 years. And God was right there working on him, working on him, working on him, working on him, teaching him how to uh, interpret dreams. See, while we're going through things, it makes us stronger. It pushes us. And God has given us revelation. He's teaching us things in, in certain situations. So I want you to go through it and let God turn you on that wheel. Turn you on that wheel. And you see how this, this, this bottom part is a little wider. And this middle part is a little, is, is, is a little thinner. It's wide up here. It may look crazy. People may think you crazy. But you know who you are in God. All I got, all I know is God is working on me. Somebody type in, God's working on me. God's working on me. I may, I know I may, um, I know um, I may not fit in with y'all. Y'all going wherever y'all going, and I'm not hanging around with y'all. I'm not hanging out with y'all. I, you know, I can't pick you up today because I got to read my word. I, I'm just different. God working on me. Tell somebody he's working on me. I don't know. Y'all can y'all can do what y'all do, but God working on me. There's something down on the inside of me that keep pushing me to pray, pushing me to fast, pushing me to read the word. I, I, I can try to watch a Netflix movie, a Tubi movie, or whatever movie, but down on the inside, there's a pulling going on down on the inside. The Holy Ghost down on the inside is pulling me to prayer. I'm trying to tell you. It's pulling me to a secret place. It's pulling me to that place in God where I know God is trying to teach me something. He's trying to show me something. So we're in Jeremiah 18, verse 4. But the jaw was making, no, hold on to this thing. But the jaw was making, uh, uh, but the jaw he was making did not turn out as he had hoped. And had hoped. You see, sometimes, see, God calls us and he pulls us into the kingdom. And you know, y'all know how we do. We make mistakes and we go through things. And, and God's saying, it's not like, I don't want you to do that. I want you to do this. And I'm going to put you on the wheel and I'm going I'm I'm to form you and shape you. If you just, just stay still. Just stay still on the wheel. Thank you, Lord. Somebody type that in. Stay still on the wheel and let God type, uh, begin to shape me and mold me. I'm telling you, uh, I, I, I'm trying to tell you. He's God. God is working on me. You can ridicule me all you want to. You can say I'm not a child of God. You can put me on YouTube and Facebook and tell everybody about me all you want to. But all I know is God is working on me. And when I come out, I ain't going to be silver. I'm trying to tell you. I ain't going to be bronze. I'm going to be gold. I'm coming out as gold. And I'm trying to tell you. I'm coming out as gold. So uh, as God hoped for. Um. I'm thinking, I'm thinking of the scripture. So he crushed, thank you, God. So he crushed it into a lump of clay again. God started over again. If God, once God sees that we're not walking in his will the first time, he's going to redirect us and he's going to start, thank you, God. He's going to start us all over again. You might have found yourself doing something that you used to do years ago. Why? Because God took you back to that thing so he can start it all over again. There's something we missed back. There's something that we missed that we was going through. There's something we missed. And God said, I got to take you back through it and I'm going to show you something. I'm going to show you something. There's some books out you got to write. But you got to go back and pull out your life testimony. So when you, so you, when you write this book, you won't just put some of it in there. You'll put all of it in it. 
so somebody could be saved. This is all for kingdom building, all for winning souls. So he crushed it into a lump of clay and started it over. Somebody say, God has stopped me all over again. I know I messed up sometimes. I know I got fussy fussy. I know I caught an attitude with some people the other day. But guess what? God still loves me. God has stopped me all over again. Somebody say today, God is going to stop me all over again. Today, I'm somebody type in, today, I'm starting all over again. Today, I'm starting all let, Let's just go there. Today, I'm starting. It's August. It's August. We're in a new month. New beginnings. God is doing something new. This is the due season. God is starting me all over again. I'm going to do things now that I should have done way some months ago. All the things that I lined up to do the first of the year, that's how I was going to do. I'm going to get back to that stuff. I'm about to do all that, all those things. I'm about to start all over again. I'm about to delete some stuff out of my phone, some people out of my phone. Y'all, I know I shouldn't have been talking to them. I know I shouldn't have had them in my, in my contacts. I'm trying to tell you, y'all slowing me down, y'all being a hindrance in my life, I'm going straight, I'm starting all over again. I'm resetting my mind to the things of God. I'm telling you, I'm resetting my mind to the things of God. Jeremiah 18, and I'm trying to get all the way down to verse 17. Then the Lord gave me this message. The Lord is speaking to us today. What is God saying? Oh, Israel, can I not do to you as this potter has done to his clay? As the clay is in the potter's hand, so are you in my hand. We're in God's hand. Nobody can pluck us out. Yeah, we don't fear man that might can pierce the flesh, but we fear God that can take body and soul. I'm telling you, God can do it all. We don't fear man, but we fear, we, we, we reverence God. We walk in reverence to God. Um, verse, look at uh, Jeremiah 18 and 7. If I announce that a certain nation or kingdom is to be uprooted, torn down and destroyed, but then, uh, but then that nation renounces its evil ways. I will not destroy it as I had planned. And if I announce that I will plant and build up a certain nation or kingdom, but, but then that nation turns to evil and refuses to obey me, I will not bless it as, it, as I said I would. Verse 11, therefore, Jeremiah, Jeremiah, woman of God, you that's watching, God is speaking today. Therefore, Jeremiah, go and warn all Judah in Jerusalem. Say to them, this is what the Lord says. I am planning disaster for you in, uh, instead of good. So turn from your evil ways, each of you, and do what is right. So God has got us on the pot as well today. And once we come out, of the, once we come out, once we come out, we're going to be Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We went from God brought us from being on being on the potter's wheel. Being on the potter's wheel. And then he brought us to this. He shaped when we came out, when you come out, you're gonna be shaped in the form that God has purposed for your life. The will of God for your life is gonna be perfect, it's gonna be complete. What does that say? Live in the moment. Live. Live in the moment. Enjoy the journey. When God get through, it's going to be a perfect shape of you. Your character, your integrity, everything is going to be perfect. God, uh, he spoke to Jeremiah and told Jeremiah, he said, I've called you. I've called you from the womb. You can't run. You can't run. You can't hide from the womb. I've called you. Uh, no, Jeremiah 18 and 13. So this is what the Lord says. Has anyone ever heard a, uh, of such a thing? Even among the pagan nations, my virgin daughter Israel had done something terrible. Does the snow ever disappear from the mountaintops of Lebanon? Do the cold streams? So he's asking Jeremiah all these questions. God is showing how good and gracious he is. Um, they burn incense to worthless idols. God is saying, I've done all this for my people. And this is what they're doing to me. I'm trying, he said, I'm trying to put them on the wheel, but they don't want to stay on the wheel. I'm trying to work on them, but they don't want me to work on them. Therefore, their land will become desolate. A monument to their stupidity. God even, I think I'm in the New Living Translation. Um, all who pass by will be astonished and will shake their heads in amazement. I will scatter my people. God said, um, those that don't line up, God says, um, to, um, uh, before, I will scatter my people before their enemies as the east wind scatters dust. In, in all their trouble, I would turn my back on them and refuse. 
So God is on. So Jeremiah saying all this to, this to, to the, the king, Zedekiah, to his people. But today, God put us, puts us on the wheel. There's people you got to minister to. There's people God is calling you to. And God said, I'm shaping you. I'm forming you to my image like me. The mind of Christ, the thoughts of Christ. You're going to have the thoughts of Christ in your mind. It doesn't matter what you've been through. It doesn't matter what kind of thoughts the enemy's bringing. You're going to have the mind of God, the mind of Christ. Let this mind be in you that is also in Christ Jesus. Yes, let this mind be in you. Yes, amen, amen, amen. God bless. God bless those that's coming in and checking in. Our brother Alex, amen. Our brother, uh, uh, brother Alex and sister, uh, our woman of God, Monroe, God bless y'all for coming on. Amen. God is working on me. God is working on all of us. And listen, we're coming out on top. We are ready. We are re ready victorious. It says, them that know, they, know their God shall do exploits. So there's nothing that can stop you, nothing that can defeat you in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank God. We thank God. We thank God for this demonstration of who God is. Just know that God is always working. He's always working on us. Even when it don't seem like he is, he is. Amen. God is good. God is good. So, um, so we're going to, um, I'm going to, um, amen. So you may be saying to yourself, you may be saying to yourself, you know why, um, you know, I know who God is, you know, I just, sometimes I just can't stay still. You know, I know I got a habit of moving from place to place and going here and going there, you know, um, uh, you know, give your life to the Lord Jesus Christ on today. Give your life to him is one of the best things you could ever do. Give your life to the Lord and let God begin to work on you. Those that's watching or may watch later, you may even, y'all may know some relatives or family members that um, that y'all praying to get saved. Send it to your family, friends and loved ones and say, listen, I'm going to send you this. I'm going to send you this because, um, we, you, know, um, you know, God will save you and then he'll work on you. He'll keep, it's, it's a process. Let God work on you. But, um. But those of you that wants to go higher, thank you, Lord. Those of you that wants to go higher, amen. I, be, I decree and declare today that God takes you to another level in him. I decree, decree and declare today that even while he's still working on you, God is, um, even while he works on you, because you know, you know, you know, as the wheel turns, God's hand is shaping and forming, forming that pot. And after so long, after so long, it's, it's fit to perfection, y'all. It's fit to perfection. The potter stops because it's, it's, the, it's the perfect shape. Tell somebody, I'm at, I'm at the perfect place with God in my life right now. I, I'm telling you, I'm in the perfect place right now with God. And once, that, once it gets there on the potter's wheel and that thing is shaped perfectly, he, he takes his hands off. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. He, the potter takes his hands off the clay. And it's to the perfect shape that he wants it to be. Thank you, God. Listen, God has took his hands off of you. Off of you. Of, sh of shaping you and molding you. And it's already where God wants you to be. You're already the way he wants you to be. you already where he wants you to be. Um. And God is saying today, I'm going to take you higher. I'm going to take you higher. No longer will you be in that place where you are now. You're coming higher. You're coming up. You're coming up and out. In the mighty name of Jesus. Your word life going to be greater. You're going to remember more scriptures in Jesus' name. The enemy ain't going to bombard your mind with, 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 um, with, uh, with, with, um, clog, I call it clogginess, or you can't remember dreams and you can't remember scriptures. God is saying today, you're going to remember scriptures like never before. You're not going to forget your dreams when you wake up in the morning. I'm telling you, you're going to be able to fast and it's not going to be hard to fast. Did y'all hear what I said? You're going to be able to fast and it's not going to be hard to fast. Matter of fact, matter of fact, God going to put y'all on some fast. Y'all going to go to eat something. You ain't going to even have no appetite. I'm telling you. You're not even going to have an appetite. Why? Because God is, took his hand from shaping you. And he already got you the way he wants you to be. So now God comes in and he goes right down to the soul. And he unctions you to fast. 
I'm seeing you to pray. I'm seeing you to read. Some of y'all, I'm telling you, some of y'all gonna hear y'all. Some of y'all gonna hear, hear the Holy Spirit say, "Pray." I'm, t I'm trying to tell you, you want to hear the Holy Spirit speak to you, speak to your spirit man, and tell you to pray. This is how serious this thing is. This is how serious it is because God is ready, shaped you, molded you, character, integrity to take you higher to the next place. That's the things he, the people he got to get you to, and God is growing you stronger and stronger. Amen. 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 Those that want to be saved, you want to give your life to the Lord, you say, man of God, I don't know who you are, and I kind of understand what you're saying, but I want to get I want to get back. I'm tired of doing what I've been doing. According to Romans 10, 8, 9, and 10, it says, um, let me go, let me go there, and let me go right there and read it. Let me go there and read it. Romans. Let me go right there to Romans, the book of Romans. Amen. You know, I'm tired of the way I am. I want to change. I'm serious this time. I want to get right with God for real, for real. Romans chapter 10. Let me go to verse 8. Um, uh, let's see. Romans. Oh, let me go. Oh, let me go to me. Go to, let me go to King James. Amen. God is good. God is just good all the time. God is good all the time. All the time. Amen. Awesome God. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Yeah, amen. What um, Romans 10, 8. But what said then? The word is not thee in thy mouth and in thy heart. That is the word of faith which we preach. That if thou confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and shall believe in thine heart that God has raised him from the dead. Thou shalt be saved. For what the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. For the scripture said, Whosoever believeth on him shall not be ashamed. Shall not be ashamed. For there is no difference between the Jew and the Greek. For the same Lord all is rich unto all that call upon him. Amen. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Shall be saved. Amen. You said, I messed up. You know, I, I'm a sinner. You know, I confess my sins. I believe that the Lord Jesus Christ died and rose for, my, for me and my sins in Jesus' name. Give your life on G, uh, to Jesus Christ today. It's one of the best things you could ever do. Amen. Amen. Good inheritance rejoicing. Amen. So, just know that God um, it's still working on me, but I'm coming out. I'm coming out. I'm going to do more. I'm going to study more. I'm going to read more in the mighty name of Jesus. And when God is done with me, I'm going to, I'm going to teach his word. I'm going to preach his word like never before. Amen. This is Darren Moore. Until next time, God bless each and every one of you. Amen. God bless. God bless.